Brian Painter of the Oklahoma, and today we're joined by Rick Smith of the National Weather Service. Uh, Rick, it looks like you got a race on your hand between the dry line out west and the cold front coming from the northwest. Does that appear to be the case? Yeah, that's exactly what we're looking at, Brian. We do have two main weather features we're tracking today that are going to have a huge impact on the, the weather over much of the state. Um, the first thing is this cold front. We've been tracking it since, you know, for several days now. It's moving out of Kansas and actually already starting to push into northwest Oklahoma, seeing temperatures in the panhandle late this morning already in the upper 20s. And it's, you know, it's going to be pushing on down through the body of the state through this afternoon. And at the same time, we're going to have um, a, uh, a dry line setting up over in uh, the eastern Texas panhandle and getting into southwest Oklahoma. That's the area that we're focused on most closely for the big storms, the big bad supercells with tornadoes and baseball-sized hail and things like that. But this front that's moving southeast is going to have a huge impact on just how bad it gets down there because the further the south, further south that this front moves, than the less chance of those higher end storms down there. Not saying at all that there won't be baseball size hail and tornadoes because we're still very concerned about that, but the chances look a little bit lower than they did this time or, you know, a few hours ago this morning. Rick, can you kind of give me a general time frame for the Oklahoma City Metro on when people might start seeing something approach this area? We're still looking at that 3 to 7 p.m. time frame, somewhere in there. Uh, we're, we're kind of tweaking that a little bit as we watch this front. Uh, actually, if we get those storms developing along the dry line in southwest Oklahoma, we would expect those to move toward the northeast, and how far they get before the front catches them um, is, is up in the air right now. But uh, I, I would say that traditional 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock time frame, certainly if you're you're at work and you're going to be driving home or traveling anywhere during that time frame, I would definitely check the radar and check the weather before you jump in the car and, and get out there on the road. Regardless of which one wins, that dry line or that cold front, is there a pretty good chance we might see some hail today? I would say so, yeah. Regardless of whether we see those supercell storms or whether we just see the storms with the, uh, the cold front, I'd, I'd say there's a pretty good bet we're going to see quite a bit of hail around the area course those big isolated storms we'd be worried about the damaging hail with baseball size and 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 uh, you know the hail that would really cause a lot of problems but even some of the the relatively weaker storms could have some some hail in them too and and there'll be a threat of some some uh, strong winds with those storms later tonight or later this afternoon into tonight one last question you know we talk about hail but there's a chance of another type of ice tomorrow with this. Uh, we may even see some winter mixes. Is that correct? Yeah, this is this is this will be a kind of an unusual storm even by Oklahoma standards here in almost the, this well into the second week of April, uh, dealing with possible tornadoes and severe thunderstorms and warm temperatures today. Uh, we're going to see a dramatic drop in the temperature. Some places are going to drop 40 degrees in a short amount of time. And with the cold air in place and a lot of moisture, it looks like, still behind that front, we're getting more concerned about the possibility of some freezing rain and sleet over maybe a fairly large part of uh, northern and even down to central Oklahoma. So we're, we're going to be watching that very closely. Don't be surprised to see winter weather advisories come out later today. And, and uh, you know, that, it turns out for, much, for parts of the state that may end up being a bigger deal than the severe weather is. So... Um, we always say check the forecast often, but today is a prime example. It's going to be changed about a minute probably. Okay, thanks very much for all your help, Rick. Thanks a lot, Brian.